Welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can multiply this directly. X times X, same thing as X squared, then over 5 times 5. Also, we have 5 squared, which is equals to this side as well, 5 times 5. That's 5 squared. Then over also X times X, we have X squared. Then next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared, then equals to also 5 squared times 5 squared. Then also this follows when we have a times a, which is also a squared. As this same thing multiplying, we can write this as x squared, then all squared equals to also here we have 5 squared or squared and next step here we can take 5 square squared to this side As this here we have x square or squared then minus 5 squared or squared now equals to 0 from here then next step here this follows when we have a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b into brackets then open bracket a minus b that is here a standing as x square and b standing as y square and what we have here follow this and becomes x square plus five squared into brackets then also open bracket x square minus 5 squared plus bracket then equals to 0 from here. Which implies next we have two possible cases that is x square plus 5 squared equals to 0. Or we have x square minus 5 squared equals to 0 here. Then solving from this side. This follows when we have a square plus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b i into brackets, then open bracket a minus b i. That is here yeah, follows this, and this can be written as x plus 5 i into brackets, then open bracket x minus 5 i close bracket, then equals to zero here that is here also we have two cases x plus 5i equals to zero or we have x minus 5i equals to zero here this implies you have x equals to minus 5i which is a complex solution here then here we have x equals to 5i which is also a complex solution here. So we have two complex solutions from this side. Then also, solving from the second case here, this also follows a square minus b square, which is equals to a plus b into brackets, open brackets, a minus b. That is here, this follows what we have, and we have x plus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 5, equals to zero from here also we have two cases here that is x plus five equals to zero or we have x minus five equals to zero then on this side we have x equals to minus five which is a resolution here then from here we have x equals to five which is also a resolution here and altogether now we have four solutions. When we write it out, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 5, then x3 from the complex solutions here, we have 5i, then also x4, we have x equals to minus 5i. So here we have this four solutions here two resolutions and two complex 
solutions. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. We substitute the first value of x when x equals to 5 here. That is what we have becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5. Is it equals to also here we have 5 over 5 times 5 over 5? Here 5 over 5 is 1 times also 5 over 5 here we have 1. Is it equals to here? Yeah, also we have 1 times 1. Then this side, 1 times 1 is 1, which is equals to also 1 times 1 is 1. Now we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then x equals to 5 satisfies this given problem. Also, for x equals to minus 5, we substitute back here and we have minus 5 over 5 times minus 5 over 5. Is it equals to 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5? Then here, minus 5 over 5 give us minus 1 times. Also, here we have minus 1. Is it equals to here also? We have minus 1 times minus 1. The minus 1 times minus 1 give us plus 1. And also equals to here, minus 1 times minus 1 give us plus 1. Hence, Left hand side also equals to the right hand side. Then x equals minus 5 satisfies this given problem. And also for x equals to 5i, what we substitute, what we have becomes 5i over 5 times also 5i over 5 is equals to 5 over 5i times also 5 over 5i. That is here, 5i over 5, same thing as i, times also here we have i. Is it equals to here? This same thing as 1 over high, times 1 over high. That is here, i times i, give us i squared. Then is it equals to here? 1 times 1, 1. Then over i times i, i squared. And we should note that since root minus 1 equals to high, that means minus 1 will not be equal to i square. So i square is equal to minus 1. So therefore, here we have minus 1 is equal to 1 over minus 1. Then here we have minus 1, which is equal to 1 over minus 1 also is minus 1. So left hand side equals to right hand side. Hence, also 5i satisfies this given problem. Then also... For x equals to minus 5i, what we have also becomes minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5 is equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 over minus 5i. Then 5i minus 5i over 5 gives us minus i times. Also here we have minus i. Is it equals to? Also here we have 1 over minus i times 1 over minus i. And here since minus times minus is plus, then i times i, that's i square. Then is it equals to here, also we have 1 over i square. Since i square is minus 1, then this side is 1 over minus 1. Then, of course, we have minus 1 equals to, also here we have minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right. Answer. Hence, minus 5i also satisfies this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.